Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have yet another Squale uh, unboxing first impression video. This is a quite new model. I mean, it's been a few months, but uh, still it's a model I haven't featured on the channel uh, previously. So I thought it would be really cool to have a closer look at this watch. This is probably the brand that I have featured the most on my channel, uh, but there is a reason for that. I really love it and uh, I'm really excited to dive into this particular model. Before we do so, wristwatch check. I am wearing today my Moon Swatch Mission to Jupiter. Uh, I'm wearing it on the d elastic loop strap, which in my opinion is the perfect strap for the Moon Swatch. Uh, super comfortable and uh, I really love how it looks. Now, let's open this. So the box we've seen a million times before, not super interesting and we're not really interested in anything other than the watch so let's just get this over with here you can see uh, the watch and it is a super squally in the sunray gray we're gonna get all the plastic off and then we're gonna take a close look at this beautiful beautiful relatively new release from squally um, gonna get this tag off because it is annoying and um, I like to do things upside down if you haven't realized here it is guys beautiful beautiful new model from Squally it has some similarities to the uh, sub 39 but it's a little uh, different also first of all it is smaller at 38 millimeters uh, it is very thin and it is uh, heavily vintage inspired uh, you can see the faux patina which some people may not be a huge fan of i don't mind it and the beautiful sunburst or sunray as they call it gray dial uh, with the black text which is quite like minimalistic and it doesn't like scream at you it's very understated and uh, uh, classy I think uh, so I love that they went with the black uh, text on the dial white would have really I think thrown me off a little bit uh, especially when you have the faux patina the white would be really harsh um, so it's beautiful beautiful with the black and you can see the play in the light of the applied uh, markers at least on the 12 3 6 and 9 positions and the hands are also beautifully polished I uh, love the second hand with the round Dot, very simple. I mean, nothing crazy here. It's very simple. It's uh, retro and it's, yeah, it's just really beautiful. And uh, one thing I generally really like is uh, steel insert bezels. And this one is no different. Uh, it is brushed and really, really beautiful. Uh, let's check out the bezel action. Okay. This is a 120 click bezel. It is, I think the action is good. It's a little stiff maybe, but not bad. Uh, it is uh, It is very comfortable and satisfying. No play, lines up. Uh, well, I, <laughs> I overclicked it as I usually do. Let's take another <laughs> round. And um, let's take a look at the case back. It says super and squally. Uh, it is in, uh, Stainless steel automatic 20 Atmos. So this is water resistant to about 200 meters, uh, which is plenty. And it's a Swiss made. Uh, beautiful watch, I think very understated, classy. You have brushed finish all around this watch, but you have the polished bezel edge, which I think really just makes, uh, makes everything stand out a little bit more. And uh, the crown is also uh, polished. Let's screw it out. And this is a solid movement, um, obviously. And it is a no date movement, no ghost position. Uh, crown feels really good. Uh, I like the like the shape of it, and the grip is really good. So this one is a little bit hard to screw in and it hurts my fingers a little bit 
when I <laughs> had to push it in, uh, but um, nothing too crazy. Uh, this is on the leather strap, uh, which is all right. Uh, you obviously have the polished buckle with the Squally logo. Um, this also comes on a, a Rice Beads bracelet. It is a style of bracelets that I don't love, uh, so I um, don't have that hair for you either, but I think, you know, die watch is not always something to put on uh, leather straps, but I think these type of vintage pieces are uh, are fine to do on a leather strap because uh, you're not gonna die with this. This looks perfect with a suit. It's really classy, really beautiful, and we are going to try it on our wrist. Let's take this off. So here it is on my 16 and a half centimeter wrist. It fits, I'd say, perfectly. It wears really beautifully. Uh, the lug lug is not crazy. It kind of uh, bends down, curves down to hug your wrist really nice. And it is not super thick. So really beautiful, beautiful on my wrist. And um, it looks even better in real life than on the camera. But the camera makes it look a little bit bigger. Uh, but I think, um, this is a beautiful size and I love that they did this because uh, they could have released this in like 41 millimeters and I would have hated it. I love this, really love this, beautiful. So that is my quick unboxing and first impression video um, of this Super Squally Sunray Grey. Uh, what do you guys think of this watch? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to watch more videos, I'll put one right here. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.